Hi, it's Monday the 8th of February 2016 and Scan and Cut Canvas has had an update. Just thought I'd do a quick video to show you what's changed. First of all, if you look down here, you'll see February the 8th version 2.2.0 was released and there are um, release notes which you can read here um, or by when this scrolls round again on the bottom here, release notes. But I just thought I'd give you a quick overview of, of what's changed. So if we come into a new project, the first thing that's changed is that if I just drag on a couple of basic shapes, what you can do now, you can select both so that they're both grouped and you can go to the properties box and from here now you can assign them the same colour, you can make them both drawing lines while they're the same. The next thing that's changed is that if you, we come back here you'll now see you've got a tab that says my projects so when you click on this now all your projects that are normally on the page that loads when you log into canvas are all here if you scroll down and click get more it loads all your, all your projects that you've got saved so this means that you can select something It'll drop onto the screen for you but you can select multiple items so if I select this one you'll see I've now got and then what I could do I can hold my shift key down and click one and click another then come to the properties box can make those two red I can select this one and select this one go back to the properties box and say make them blue or select the whole lot and make them green. So that's a handy feature to have. So I'll just get rid of those. The next item is if you're using the um, path tool, you can now, if you select that before you just clicked and you know made up a shape and double click to anchor it, but now, if you select the path tool and hold the shift key down on your keyboard, you can click, hold the shift key. If I don't hold the shift key, you can see this will wobble all over. The minute I hold the shift key down, it locks it into place. So you can click again, then click again, click again, and click again. And it will make a shape for you. You can also change the size of an item now by percentage so if we choose this scallop and go over here instead of being able to change it here like we could before or by degrees you now have this icon here that is resized by scale so if you select that and keep the maintain aspect ratio selected i can now either use the down arrows to go down in 10% or highlight the number and say 25% OK and it will make the shape 25% of its original size. So that's a handy feature to have. And then finally, if we just go back to Scan and Cut Canvas homepage and go to the Projects tab, you now have a filter option. So if you select on here, by default, mine was all ticked. You can untick everything and you can choose to just load the projects by a particular type. So if you want to do something with iron on transfer, you say OK. And that will now load just the iron on transfer projects. If you go back. So this time if I just want gift box projects, if I untick everything and choose gift box and say OK, it will just bring up the projects that are gift box. So that's a handy feature to have. And then the only other thing it said in the update that it was doing was doing some minor bug fixes. So I hope that's helpful.
Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.